Well, I think we'll soon see. I think that may be Novavax's uh, 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 niche as we move forward, because there, there are some, at least theoretical advantages, for using a different strategy. Initially with the mRNA strategy, which is a genetic vaccine, and then giving a purified adjuvanted protein, which is the Novavax strategy. There are already are starting to be some data generated, but I think that's going to be a, a situation where it's going to look like the answer is yes, it's better to boost with Novavax, but we'll see. We don't have those all those data yet. Yeah, and that's pretty much what Otto's also saying. He's wondering if Novavax as a booster is a smarter strategy in the fall than whatever the bivalent would be but maybe right now I can tell you that the data on the vaccine is not convincing we need to see better data on the bivalent vaccine I'm not just talking about the data that were presented to our FDA vaccine advisory committee on June 28th I'm talking about publications in in, in you know in, in uh, basic science journals looking at the vaccines that are given as bivalent vaccines and then looking to see to what extent it induces neutralizing antibodies against these new variants as compared to just getting the uh, the ancestral strain because the ancestral strain does boost you against these these other variants thank goodness right. I mean that's why it is that we've been able to continue to be protected as variant after variant after variant has uh, has come about.